Hey guys, in this video we are going to learn how to delete an order item in our order list. So in our table we need to add the icons uh, inside this going to show let's add an element so I'm going to add in anchor tag and then inside we'll use the the icon font awesome so let's try FA delete so it's not showing um, not sure if delete is the right icon name so let's just try edit uh, so I think it's trash so as you can see so we have now the delete button so next thing we need to do here is going to add the class so let's name it delete order item then here we need to the capture the PID or the product ID we'll use that one later let's just grab that one paste inside the icon so let's just remove that let's refresh let's add and see if they are added as you can see they are added to our delete button so here um we're going to add a javascript event handler so if we click on our delete button then we run this script so we can use the target class list we have that class name then let's just alert so let's try click so it works so now let's grab the product id so using the data set and then the product info we can grab it from the order items so use the pid since that's an object F copy so as you can see we grab the order item info so let's grab the rendering or the render of this one the update order item table so once we do it we need to refresh our order list So here, um, if we click the order items, as you can see here, these are the current order items. So to delete, you can just use the delete, then supply the ID. So which in our case, the product ID. So as you can see here, that product invoice or order item is deleted. So let's delete the item. And then here before we delete we need to make sure we get the quantity for that item and then we move it back or add it to the to our product list so let's grab the ordered quantity so we can use the product ordered qty column and then let's try to update our products uh, objects uh, should be the products and then the PID and then here it's stack and then move back or add the ordered quantity so finally we can use this one delete the order item so 
last thing we need to do is we can just grab this load script which will refresh uh, the table so let's refresh copy and then 3 so we have qty3 let's try to delete so it's scan you can see so we have 5 we delete so it's deleted now let's try 3 should have 2 as you can see it kind of stuff is 2 so it, they're working preview script so next thing we need to do here is we need to add an alert so basically a confirmation dialog that means uh, we are sure to delete or okay to delete the item so here um, type danger then inside let's add a message delete order item let's make this one strong element then the callback so that would be the title but the message is this one so inside the strong will add the product name so you can grab that by using the product info let's check name property then here the, the callback function if we going to delete then we run the script so let's try again let's delete so we have that button or dialog let's try again cancel so it won't be deleted let's try to delete this one so that's it uh thank you